One, two, three. Eyes on me. Hello, hello, hello. Well, I've drawn this little critter. I was thinking about the galaxy um, paintings that we did with the markers and water and salt the last time. And I said to myself, there's another way to do this. Last time we used a plain piece of paper, but this time we're going to just use a drawing. Now the drawing that you make could be of anything. I just kind of stuck with the galaxy outer space theme and created this little alien. And then I was thinking, hmm, what colors should I use? Well, first of all, I had to draw this with a crayon. The crayon will stay on the paper during this process and there won't be any smudges. If you draw with a marker and then add water, it might be disastrous. So if you have crayon, I just chose one color. I didn't add a whole bunch of colors because I want my colors to be added here on the foil. So I'm going to set him to the side and along the side here I have a bowl of water, a salt shaker, a wet paper towel, and um, more paper towel napkins that I can use if necessary. You'll also need your watercolor markers. Um, these are not permanent, they're water-based, and so it makes the process really fun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose a few colors to use for this. And I, um, I like to keep it simple, but you can go wild and use as many colors as you want. You can make it a rainbow design. Uh, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to start. And I think using the shiny side of the foil is better. Foil has a, a duller side that's not as shiny. I'm going to use the shiny side. And I'm going to add spots of color all around. Now, if you remember last time, we used galaxy colors. This time, just using some colors I think will look really good together. Oh boy, I see a little hole, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to keep going. I've used this piece of foil a number of times. Each time I just take the wet towel when I'm done and wipe it clean. So I think this piece of foil might be done. It might be ready to just give up. So I'm putting a little bit of color all over. It doesn't matter to me which direction. Usually I say to, to students, neatness counts, but for this, it really doesn't. And my favorite color, green. I'm adding green in around. I figure if I'm doing an alien, there's got to be some green in here somewhere. So there goes the green. All right, and remember, just get the colors on there as close as you can, but try not to let them touch too much because you don't want to alter the colors of your markers too much. So, wow, I think that's gonna be nice. Looks sort of springy. So I set this to the side because the next step is to wet the drawing. And the crayon will not be bothered by the water. Crayon is made of wax. There's wax in crayons. And so the wax in the crayons prevents it from going anywhere. I want this to be nice and wet. Yes, yes, yes. And you can see it looks a little shiny and that's because it's very wet. And I bring my 
colors back in and set my wet paper face down into the colors and I use my hands to rub because I want those colors to transform transfer and absorb and you, you can kind of see right here it is really just the paper is really just soaking up those colors and it's seeping through to the other side okay and then I take the corner and peel it off and voila there he is wow he almost looks like a troll now this almost looks like a a picture from the trolls movie I really like it though the colors are wonderful wonderful now something that you can do when it's dry is go back and add more color with your crayons so I'm going to set this to the side to dry and while I do that I'm just going to take a dry piece a paper towel or a napkin and as gently as I can wipe this you can get a lot of use out of this one piece of foil no need to waste it especially in times like these you want to conserve we might even be able to make some sort of a sculpture out of this foil because sculptures sometimes are made of metal but in the end your drawing sits and quietly sits and dries until you have time to come back add some details and I think that looks wonderful I can't wait to see what you might make go for it enjoy it and remember it's always excuse me it's always great to create